Welcome to the American Dream TV. I'm your host, Brad Harper, and we're in the beautiful maritime city of Gig Harbor, Washington. There is about eight miles of saltwater shoreline here. There's no wonder thousands of people come down here every year to walk, dine, and shop all the local businesses. The one thing I love about Gig Harbor is the environmentally friendly commitment to trees. They use the least amount of trees to build the local homes and businesses here. Speaking of trees, today we're gonna go to a tree farm, but this is a no ordinary tree farm. Let's go see why. Hi guys, we made it to the Helping Hearts Tree Farm. What an amazing day. We couldn't have picked this out any better. Look at the tree, it's already partially flocked. I want to introduce you to the owners today of Joe and Lisa Larson. Hi guys, how are you? Hey Brad. Good to see you. Hey Brad, nice to see you. Good to see you. What a beautiful day. Well, thanks for coming out, Brad. We're glad to have you. This is amazing. How many trees are out here? We have about 5,000 trees in the ground right now at all different heights and, uh, and growing stages. So Joe, what was your inspiration for all of this? Well, um, back in 1960, the first born in our family, uh, Tommy, uh, he passed away at age 13. And it was really tough on our family. He passed away from leukemia. There's a lot of cancer in our family and not just uh, the young people, but I th we really think that um, uh, Tommy got robbed of his, of his uh, you know, being able to fall in love and his, and his getting married and his first home and having children. And, and so having said that, we wanna make sure that the, the kids that we honor here at the farm are uh, really feel that um, they have ho hope for the future and are having a great time today. So with that, how did this all come about? Well, about nine years ago, my wife was diagnosed with cancer and it really made us um, consider what is really matters to us in life. And, and the things that really matter really aren't things, they're people. And so we decided to start a farm that helps children that are sick with cancer in honor of my brother, Tommy. Oh my gosh, that's great. So when they come out at different times of the year, they can do different things. In the pumpkin season, they can get some free pumpkins. We can go in the barn. We can watch a movie on how the farm was built. We can uh, listen to their story. It's really important to us that we hear their story, their, their uh, challenges in life. And um, so they can have pumpkins then. And during the holiday Christmas season, they can have a free Christmas tree and enjoy some cider and, and uh, hang out at the farm. Nice. So once they go through that whole thing, is there something else that you do for them like that would carry on? Oh yeah, for sure. We want it to be a long-term thing where they, they know that someone has not forgotten about them. I, we think that kids get robbed uh, of their childhood when they're young like that and they miss out from you know, being at the doctors and that. So we want to put a smile on their face and know that somebody cares about them. So when they come out, we, we're going to have them plant a tree and then we're going to notify them when we water it, when we uh, fertilize it, and then when we shear it. And as it grows and they come out, they can see how they're growing and their tree is growing. That's amazing. What would be the long term goal from there then? Well, ultimately, we would really like to um, have these kids have a great outlook for the future. And one of those ideas for my wife and I is uh, to have scholarships for them to go to school when they get older. A lot of the kids will maybe not have that opportunity and we want to try to help that. And whether it be college or a trade school, we, uh, our goal is to sell enough trees that we can accumulate some money to give to them in the long run. And uh, growing hope is a big deal for us. And I'd imagine these kids aren't even thinking past tomorrow or thinking past the next day, let alone you're watch they're watching their yeah. tree here and then they might have a scholarship coming. Yeah, yeah that, that's a big deal to us. You know, one of our mottos is today is a good day. So we're gonna have a great time today. We're gonna have a lot of fun at the farm, but ultimately we want them to think about another day. When they get better, you know, I can come out and water my tree. When I, when I get better and another day comes by, they can come out and have a great time here at the farm. What a heartfelt story. Two people working so hard to be able to do what they want to do and give back at the same time. That's the true American dream. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Gig Harbor, Washington. Join me on my next episode of American Dream TV.